Welcome back, everybody. We all know baby boomers are a generation of those born between 1946 and 64. And until the millennials came around, baby boomers were the single largest living generation in America. So we have a very large population <laughs> eligible for Medicare right now. But what does all of that mean if you would happen to get into a car accident? Two things we never necessarily thought to talk mm -hmm. about, but Kristen Shireman says it's very important. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. What do those two things have in common? I guess maybe let's start with, with Medicare as a whole. Why do we want to talk about that? Well, Medicare is incredibly important when you're talking about what happens when you're in an accident because of what Lisa said. First of all, statistically, there's just a large number of people who might be in an accident who are Medicare eligible. So we know that that's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. Anytime someone is in an accident and someone else pays your medical bills, there are things you have to do to repay those parties if you settle a claim. Okay. And Medicare mm -hmm. is essentially a superpower. That's the way I describe them. There are very strong federal laws that protect Medicare's rights to be reimbursed. Mm -hmm. you, have to under, you have to understand that or there can be significant consequences for the person who was injured if they're not repaid mm -hmm. properly. So we know about age, but are there other ways people can become Medicare eligible? There are. I think we all know that if you're 65, you're automatically mm -hmm. eligible, but there are a number of other ways someone can qualify for Medicare. That could be end-stage renal disease. If someone has qualified for Social Security disability benefits, you can become Medicare eligible after a period of time. And those things are important as well because when we think about an accident, we can't just think about traditionally 65-year-old individuals and a sure. connection to Medicare because there are other ways that you can qualify for that benefit. So what steps do we need to take if we find ourselves checking those two boxes, been in an accident and on Medicare? The most important thing is to ensure that you've got an attorney who understands, mm. again, those Medicare laws. And it's something that um, I talk a lot about and lecture across the state. It's not something that you can think about when the case settles. You have to start thinking about Medicare and Medicare's rights the second a case starts. Mm -hmm. Because if you wait until the end of the case, it can be too late to do some of the planning that you have to do to ensure that Medicare's interests have been protected. And at Herlin Clark, you know, we're, we'd be lucky enough to have people who are experts in injury and experts in Medicare, right? I think it's one of the things that really sets us apart. Yeah. It's, again, Medicare sounds a little bit intimidating, but it's something that I've spent about 12 years studying hmm. because it's so important to protecting people and making sure that those benefits are still going to be in place after an accident. Yeah. Let's talk a bit about your full slate of offerings. You have experts in a lot of areas. We do. Uh, we do almost everything. No criminal defense, but we do okay. business transactions. We do wills, estates, family law, which is a really, really big area of law right now following COVID. Um, so lots of different areas where we provide help to people. And talk a little bit about the history of Herlin Clark. Born and raised in the Valley. Absolutely. <laughs> Don Herling had his first office in the Zilke Building, which is sort of an icon here in the Fox Valley. Um, we moved down the street from our current building, so we've been on Lindale in a variety yeah. of places, but we're, Fox, we're, Fo we're a Fox Valley firm with a few other small locations in Oshkosh mm -hmm. and Green Bay, uh, but our goal is to provide the same service you would get from a big firm in Milwaukee mm -hmm. right here in the Valley, where we call home. And Kristen, if someone is unsure if they need legal help, you guys would love to talk to them, right? They should give you a call. Absolutely. We always encourage people, ask questions up front. We're going to tell you if we can or can't help or send you in the right direction, so definitely make that phone call. All right, well, here's how you do that. You'll find the Hurling Clark offices in Appleton, Green Bay, and Oshkosh, but they serve many surrounding communities, as Kristen mentioned. You can give them that phone call at 920-739-7366 or online. Here's some great testimonials at hurlingclark.com.